Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up your STC DSL router and turn it into a Wi-Fi access point. Let's start the video. I have this STC DSL router. Here is the power adapter socket. That is DSL port. These are four LAN ports. And these two are phones ports. Connect a 12 volt adapter to the power socket. The power is on. It will take some time to boot the router. Now the Wi-Fi LED is blinking. There are two ways to connect the router to your phone and computer. First method is connect the router using the Wi-Fi SSID. Here is SSID home broadband. And here is its password. Now open Wi-Fi connection. Select the home broadband. And enter your password. Now router is connected with laptop. It will instantly launch the STC router's home page. Remove all this text. And enter the default IP address. 192.168.1.1 And press enter. Here is login page. Default username and password is admin. Username. Admin. Password. Admin. Login. Now from here you can change the router setting. The second method is to use the LAN port. However, if you don't know the Wi-Fi password, use the LAN port to connect your laptop or computer to the router. Put patch cord wire in any LAN internet port and connect other side with PC and laptop. Open network and internet settings. Status. Advanced network setting. Click on change adapter option. Here is network connection. Bluetooth connection. Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Right click on Ethernet. A list is opened. Click on Properties. Ethernet Properties is opened. Click on Internet Protocol version 4 TCP over IP version 4. And click on Properties. By default it is on Obtain an IP address automatically. Select Use the following IP address. IP address. The default IP address of the router is 192.168.1.1. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So you should use 192.168.1.2. And click on OK. Close. Right click and enable. It will instantly launch the STC router's homepage for the STC HG658 gateway. Or you can manually enter the default IP address. 192.168.1.1 and enter. Here is the login page. STC HG658 Home Gateway. Home. Internet. Home Network. Share. Telephony. Maintain. From here, you can change your language. Login. Username. Admin. Password. Admin. Click on Login. You are currently using the default login password. Please change the password to improve the network security. Do you want to modify the login password? Modify later. Here is the home page. STC HG 658 Home Gateway Home Internet Home Network Share Telephony Maintain Admin Logout English Start Wizard The Internet is unavailable Set up WLAN 
Connected WLAN Check my network status Connected device 1 Internet Internet setting You can view the connection status of the HG658 V2 and modify connection parameters according to the usage scenario WLAN status All WLAN connections are disconnected But enable status or enable Internet Access type DSL IP version 4 Disconnected These are all other VAN connections LAN grouping LAN grouping Specifies bridges between layer 2 LAN and VAN interface What is this? Specifies bridges between layer 2 LAN and VAN interface by default unbound port will be bound to BR0 when the gateway is restarted. Parental control. Time rules. New time rule. Rule name. Here write your rule name. Internet access allowed. Every day. Select all. Every week. From here, you can select the day and the time. From 2. Allow internet access from this day and from this time to this time. Network security. Firewall level. Low. If you want to change the security, you can do so from here. No need to change these parameters. Bandwidth control. Here you can specify your bandwidth. I do not want to specify the bandwidth. Internet services. Enable DDNS. Enable SNTP. VPN. If you want to enable the VPN, enable the tunnel and select the van connection but right now there is no van connection routing rules these are routing rules there is no need to change the routing rules home network LAN devices you can view the connection status and network addresses of all LAN devices such as computers and SDBs in your household IP address type All Static DHCP Select all Status Only one device is connected Now only my laptop is connected with router LAN interface LAN interface Your computer connects to a LAN interface to access the internet you can adjust the interface parameters according to LAN IP address allocation, LAN interface status, LAN 1 connected full 100 MVPs, LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4 are disconnected. LAN interface setting. IP address start from 192.168.1.1. If you want to change the IP address, you can do so from here. Like 5 and click on save. DHCP server. The DHCP server is enabled. It will give you the IP address that start from 2 because 1 is reserved for the router. VAN setting. This router only support 2.4 WLAN GHz frequency. WLAN encryption. SSID. Home broadband. Enable SSID Security mode Select this mode Here you can write your key Or Wi-Fi password Write your Wi-Fi password Save Submitting please wait The WLAN parameter change will take effect in a few seconds Advanced setting Transmission power 
2.4 GHz frequency band. Transmission mode. 802.11 BGN. Channel. 11. If you want to change these options then change and click on save but I do not want to change. No need to change these option. Share. Storage sharing. You can connect a USB storage device to the HG658V2 so that multiple computers in your network can access data on the USB device through the network. There is no need to change this option. User setting. If you want to add user you can add from here. User name. Password. Confirm password. And click save. Telephony. Voice over IP. After a phone is connected to the HG658V2, the voice over IP function allows you to make and receive calls, unlike on the PSTN, voice over IP uses network bandwidth. New voice over IP provider. Provider name. Primary register. Fill the form and click on save. Maintain. System information Product type HG658V2 Device ID Here is device ID Hardware version Software version System uptime WLAN information 2.4 GHz frequency band SSID home broadband MAC address Security mode Channel Here is DSL information DSL synchronization status No signal Here is all DSL information If you want to restart DSL, restart from here Ethernet information Status not connected device management reboot device factory restore if you want to restore the factory setting click here if you have firmware update file then choose file and click on upgrade system logs are also available if you want to see any system log you can see from here Remote management. Set remote management parameters. Enable remote management. If you want to disable the remote management, you can disable from here. If you want to change ACS user you can change from here. And click on save. But I do not want to change. Van uplink mode. This is most important setting. Van uplink mode setting. Please select the internet mode between ADSL mode and ETH mode. ETH mode is a ethernet mode. If you choose ETH mode, please connect your ethernet cable to the LAN 1 port. Internet mode, by default, it is in DSL mode. Router uses its DSL port as a VAN port. If you want to change this mode from DSL to ethernet, select ETH mode. Now. The router uses its LAN 1 port as a VAN port. Connect the Ethernet cable to LAN port 1. And router works as a Wi-Fi access point. And click on save. The VAN uplink mode has been modified, and the device must be restored to factory settings. Restore the factory setting now. OK. Submitting please wait. Device is restarted. We have to log in again. The router has been connected again. Everything is fine. Click on Internet. And delete all these options. Delete. Are you sure you want to delete this VAN connection? OK. Delete. Are you sure you want to delete this VAN connection? OK. Delete. 
Are you sure you want to delete this van connection? OK. Click on new van connection. Access type. DSL. IP version 4 status, disconnected. IP version 6 status, disconnected. Enable connection. Access type. By default, it is on the ATM uplink. Change it to Ethernet uplink. And also change connection type to IP routing. And now save setting. Now, disconnect this UTP patch cable. You can see now internet LED is off. And connect a van internet cable to LAN port 1. Now internet LED is on. Now router work as a Wi-Fi access point. Open Wi-Fi connection. Select the home broadband. And enter your password. Now router is connected with laptop. Open internet browser. Search Google. Internet is working fine in my laptop. Now router is work as a Wi-Fi access point. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology 5G. Please like and share the video.